Hey, what's up guys, it's Wise Guy Vito here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about another build that I have figured out is actually very good on Super Held Out of Difficulty, and this will make your Super Held Out of Difficulty on Terminids super easy. Like, share, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. We'll be talking about a loadout that I believe is being overlooked and deserves to be looked at and used way more often than Super Held Dive. This build is very good at crowd control and clearing bug breaches. This build will require the precision strike, the orbital EMS strike, the orbital gas strike, and the flamethrower. And I would call this build the Matterdom build in that you will probably catch some sort of damage. Not only will you be able to live through the pain, but also cause a lot of pain in the process. So first and foremost, let's talk about the orbital precision strike. This has become probably the best stratagem in the game. Being able to one-shot Bile Titans and charges of any type, and more importantly, Impalers, makes it a very good tool in handling tankier, more heavily armored targets, and is a must-bring for this build. The Orbital EMS Strike is also very good for crowd control in that it stops anything that's within a fairly decent area. Anything from chargers down, it will basically stop in that area to give you enough time to reposition or kill a group or even a single target. The gas strike is somewhat underrated, I believe currently in Helldivers, in that if it was a pretty decent area with harmful gas, this stratagem will mainly be used for whenever a bug breach does happen, and you'll get upwards of 40 to 50 kills at, at times. The only downside to the stratagem, and I feel like this would be an interesting buff to make to it, is just a consistency buff. Just give it a bigger area that it affects, and I believe that that would definitely help out the the orbitals more consistency. But with the help of the MS strike, either being thrown on top of the actual orbital gas itself, or to even funnel enemies kind of to you with the help of the EMS strike, this is undoubtedly what the strategy would be for the orbital gas strike basically you throw this down you kind of reposition yourself to make sure that they go through it and you'll get around 20 to 30 kills on average with a well-placed throw lastly the flamethrower this did catch a pretty hefty nerf in that it does not kill chargers with the same efficiency as it did before however the flamethrower is still a very good crowd control tool in that all you want to do you don't want to aim at the enemy, you just want to paint the ground in front of them. And the flamethrower has a pretty good range on it as far as how far you can actually paint the ground with. So effectively, you just want to just paint the ground in front of you. And while you're wearing the newly added fire resistant armor, if you catch yourself on fire while killing massive groups of enemies, it's no big deal because you can just effectively just suffer through the pain while being a fiery red ball of pain yourself and you'll kill anything from chaff to brew commander enemies fairly quickly so for the armor we like i said before we will be using the fire resistant armor that came with a new war bond it gives you 75 percent resistance to fire damage as well as the cookout the grenade pistol and the stun grenades the cookout is great not only does it catch things on fire dealing damage over time but especially for brute commanders if you've already thrown your orbital gas strike out you will not only catch them on fire but push them back into the orbital gas killing them even quicker with damage over time the grenade pistol is very good for just closing bug holes so the utility is still there but it's also good at handling kind of like those little fat bugs so like nursing spewers and bile spewers the stun grenade ensures that your precision strikes hits it hits its charger targets time and time again and also it'll help you kind of if you do get swarmed and need to be repositioned for maximum suffering and in, in the pain ball of fiery that you will need to do it does help you kind of like alleviate that pressure and of course the booster that we will be using is the upgraded stem booster in which you'll be faster you will have unlimited stamina plus your regen will go out the ass in which you will be on fire taking a lot of damage probably but you will tank through it and get massive amounts of kills there were times where i was getting at one point 81 kills 
with several shots of a booster. Time and time again, this build has proven that it's a fantastic crowd control tool, but it causes you to take a little pain for yourself. Overall, I feel like this build is the suffering from success build in that as you suffer, your enemies will also suffer. And you also have a very high kill count by the end of the drop to prove that. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about this build and how do you think about this build? Do you think this build is even worth taking? I personally think that it is. I find it to be extremely entertaining that you're just a big ball of fire yourself and just painting the ground in front of you and killing massive amounts of enemies. So you guys let me know what you think down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Requesting orbital strike. Amateur's empty. Fire! <laughs>